was the good kid in the Mad City County building, man. My mama had to walk to every motherfucking month. Kendrick Lamar's that little boy down the block that don't have no pops. They gotta go to the big homie down the street. I just came out this motherfucker to show some love for the new West Coast hotness. Yeah. My nigga Kendrick Lamar. H U B C I T Y A D N Y G. Problem man, hootie, nigga. Tell the government come shoot me, nigga. Cause I was five and it's Kendrick Lamar straight out of Compton, California. Chilling in the building, this is 50.com, what up? They don't wanna see A, B, L, A, C, K Make us some scratch like a Hall of Fame DJ Give us some free J's, put us in the PJ's Now we in the county jail calling for a three-way Kendrick, what's happening, man? What's happening, man? Man, Compton, Compton native right, Pleasure, man What's the difference in between uh, hip-hop on the East Coast and the West Coast, man? From the beginning, we had more of a laid-back, a laid-back vibe mm -hmm. East Coast was more rugged, had the dirty drums in the field mm -hmm. But when they, when they come together, I think what, what makes it unique and what makes it the same is that it's all good music. All right. <laughs> Been around shit, put your mama and your bitch. Jumped off the porch when I was like six. Uncle Bobby got the house ready back in our six. Yeah, we always had that laid back feel, even in our slang and how we talk. You know what I mean? We more laid back when you come to New York. Uh, loud and more energy and stuff, but it's all good, man. Mm. What was it like being, like growing up in Compton, man? It's like, you know, because on TV, it's seen, you know, it's gang banging. It's going crazy out there, man. It's... That's exactly what it is, you know what I mean? I've been riding my whole life. I've seen a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. everything, from people getting shot in the head right in front of me, being five years old, my uncle selling dope. So I was around all that, but what separated me from the rest of my peers was the fact that I had a pops. Mm -hmm. I mean, an active pops in my life. He wasn't perfect. I mean, he did his shit too, but his experiences trickled down to me and him telling me, yo, you should do this. And you know, you know what I mean, the steps you've seen, what I went through, don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I grew up in one of them households where, you ever seen Minnesota Society? Yes, I have. Kane, Kane was me mm -hmm. coming up. I got tons of cousins, you know what I mean, that was Crip Vampire Rules, all around me, drinking, smoking. My parents, and I got both of my parents, actually, they was wild too, so I'm seeing all this shit. But at the end of the day, they still gave me that affection and, and love I needed. I was told to stand on my own too. And from the respect I have for him, that's all I can do, mm. you know? So, I, th I think at the end of the day, it made me into a positive person. I mean, living in a crazy ass city, that's my whole story. Where I'm from. If there's a shining star, oh, my city's not too far. So we can live again. You put out your first mixtape when you were 16 years old, man. Right. And then you, get, you got your buzz off of that. Yeah. How did the spirit spread like wildfire? At, at 16, man, I started rhyming at 13. Mm -hmm. um, I got influenced where I was always a big pop fan coming up. Uh, I kept writing, kept writing. I jumped in the booth at 16, did my first mixtape, uh, the youngest head nigga in charge, and I, I, I wanted to start in Compton, so I spread it out at the school, Centennial High School. That's the school I went to in Compton. Mm -hmm. Dominguez High School, that's another school in Compton. Uh, Compton High, and I just hand in hand, me and my dude Dave, DJ Dave, mm -hmm. putting them out. I printed about 500. Damn, yeah. at your own money. Yeah. Pay for studio time over now. Yeah, I was I was sounding just like uh, Jay-Z, because that was my favorite Get rapper. Out yeah. out there was shit, I had a, a flow just like it. It was like, damn, who was this kid out here sounding like he's from uh, uh, East Coast and all this shit. I mean, in due time, I developed into my own shit mm -hmm. eventually. But um, it caught the buzz, man, and, and it caught the ear of a cat named Dude Dog that was in the industry, somebody we looked up to in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I've been with him since I was 16, man, Top Dog Entertainment. All the way up to this day, being up to this 50, man, so it's a blessing. Play that shit! My new adventures is uh, Snoop and Dre. That's probably the most ultimate for me. Just being the fact that Dre is from Compton and me listening to him ride down roads, crying my pops and my uncles putting me up on him, even being in the studio with him and him showing me his crap and how he how he got to the point he was at today. It, it fucks me up in the head, so. He actually sat down with yeah. you and, 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 and molded you and right. word. Right. This is what is it like working with Dr. Dre, man? Everybody wanna know, dog. Everybody don't get a chance to do that. Yeah, I've been in the lab with him for the past two months and it's just a, a level of, of perfection, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I thought at one point I knew exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted to sound, but when you go in the studio with Drake, mm -hmm. a legend, a genius, mm -hmm. 
put you back on humble ground. How did you, you know what I'm saying, trick this dude into putting you on a detox out? You don't like to get what's hot, what's the cliche, and who's popping out, you know what I mean? Really? His thing is, every album you want to bring somebody new and fresh into the game, because mm -hmm. he like to see, you know what I mean, people that come from nothing make it to the top and be heard, you know what I mean? And fortunately, I was one of them people, you know what I mean, that was blessed to be on that tape. <laughs> It was all in the motherfucking dreams. Love y'all. Backpack raps with gats in it. Don't get your hat peeled by the black menace. K. Dot Daryl bread. Move like a militant soldier. On point like a pyramid. Forced to be reckoned with. Fuck with the best shit. Like the strongest maneuver. I'm ready when you are. This is it. I'm in the crowd seeking up all day. Fuck them up all day. Like a nympho. I've been dope since S. Curl Waves. Trying to convince hoes I had good hair. Knowing damn well this chemicals there. We in the hood with the 17 year olds that's on hood patrol and they want stripes so they shoot off bikes and you know any moment you can lose your life so kiss your kids and hug your wife or whatnot yo I sparred with a dragon he tried to throw a flame but I ducked and I stabbed him came out the battle laughing that's a metaphor for any rapper who want it I smack him till they nose is running you know the hose is coming if I'm there and the hose is coming once we hit the hotel there's no assumptions cool out before I move out hop on the 105 do about 105 before your ass get through out the back seat there's a dead guy on the freeway Oh, it's not that, tell the medics he's okay A beast when a beat break You probably think I'm dope like this the realest shit I wrote But to me it's a throwaway I stare through four walls and rap like a mad at God Nice enough to throw a spear at Nas Jab at Jay, matter of fact, take that back I don't fuck with real legends and rap like you do And I'm crucial and real by real grips and super whoops And they shoot And photography students when beef get to brewing Fuck up, Kendrick Lamar My homeboy uh, Ali, man, he's a real big fan of yours and stuff And he had turned me on to you by like Two months ago, man, we was on one of your YouTube videos. You know, your, your style is like really crazy. Appreciate you it. You know what I'm saying? You got a very unique flow, man. Appreciate it. And man. you're extremely witty and clever. Thank word, you. word, man. And how important is that for you to do something for your city, man? Because a lot of people just do it for other selfish reasons, such as money, yeah. hoes, and clothes. Right. It's, it's very important, man. At the end of the day, that shit is all fantasy, man. That, that come and go with the money, the clothes, and the cars. I want, I want to be remembered by something that can live on forever, you know? Maybe I can hopefully have a, a middle school in the city or something, you know what I mean? Because it's my life, man. I, I got uncles and cousins, man, that have died in the city. You got gangs right on the corner of each other, Warren. And these is families that's Warren. So you can go over here and kill somebody on the corner, and that's your cousin. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's your homeboy cousin. You know what I'm saying? And, Fucked up, man. I want to make it better for that. And that's exactly what I want to hear, man. And so, like I always tell the people, man, you just can't say you. The real is just something you got to be, man. It's Kendrick Lamar, man. This is Fitted.com. Young Jake Fuller, we out. Walking on water and running on waves. Got him, see. Oh my God, you got to see. There's never no eyes in me. You're an odyssey. I'm a block away. Fire marshals moving in. Marshmallows inside my pen. Sweet 16.